And it should be completely smooth, but it's bumpy. Hello! Welcome back to another episode of Saturday Projects. In this episode, we are going to upgrade uh, from the linear bushings to linear bearings. But you already knew that because you read the title of the video. Basically, when I was upgrading to the lead screws that I have, uh, as opposed to the author that came with the printer, when I was pushing the rod through the bearings, the actual metal balls inside the bearing flew out, and basically from that point I couldn't use the bearings anymore. They weren't as smooth as they should be, so I had to go plastic bushings that I had printed off. Um, and they worked okay for the time being, but they weren't as ideal as bearings are. There's still some layer issues where it's not as smooth as it should be. So hopefully the bearings are going to fix that. So there is one Z idler complete and now all there is to do is the other side. And the other side is actually a whole lot easier to install, not because you have a better understanding of what you're doing the second time around, but because all you gotta do is wave your hands around like this. Okay, and that's it. Saturday projects, we're on like 15 minute project, am I right? Well I guess I still have to level it in a little bit. Look at that, zero degrees, first try. My first try, I mean zero tries, because I didn't do anything, I just got it right away. If you ever want to build a printer correctly, don't use two M3 bolts in opposite corners, when the part calls for four M4 bolts in each corner. I'm going to fix that in another video. I was just running the printer up and down on the Z axis to check for smoothness, and in doing so, I think I actually noticed a real problem that was causing the layer issues. This motor is running perfectly fine, it is staying exactly where it's supposed to be, but on this side it may be hard to see, but the motor is actually bouncing up and down as it spins, and that is not okay. I figured out that the issue was actually just the coupler between the motor and the Z-axis rod, so all I had to do was reattach it properly and everything was fine at that point. The bed is leveled, it is heating up, and now we're going to print a test cube to compare it to the original one. <laughs> if it focuses that it's slightly wavy on this side you can see with the one we just printed it's pretty much dead on straight problem is totally fixed now and I am very happy I do have some more upgrades planned for the future and I will make videos about those but for now this is where my printer is at I've already printed off a new faceplate for the Mark 42 helmet that I'm working on and it turned out really nice. And if you haven't already seen the previous videos in this series, go ahead and check those out. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.